Good morning. We're taking a quick look here at this 40 watt. Oops, turned it off. 40 watt uh, coffee or tea warmer, and uh, I think, in short, this one is probably the real deal that most of us are looking for. I've got a temperature sensing probe underneath my coffee mug right now and this has been plugged in for about five minutes I want to say so it's uh, seems to be leveling off this um, temperature probe I wouldn't necessarily bank on it being super super accurate but it uh, it's usually within you know single digit degrees margin of error in the bit that I've been using it so suffice to say that plate is quite hot under there uh, I've been looking for quite a while for one that has g genuine power that can uh, keep coffee warm it has settled down to a pretty low draw now because it's already at peak temp so now it's just trying to maintain but if I were to turn it off you'll see the watt watt draw go to zero and it'll start to cool off notice right when I turn it on if I ramp up to full power right away watch the watt meter will go right to full power and it actually only went up it pretty quickly detected that uh, it was already up to temp might even be melting that probe a little bit yeah might be we'll have to be careful with that I guess but um, you saw the temperature probe there it gets pretty hot if I let it cool down for a bit and then turn it back on again or maybe I can just uh, overlay a uh, picture on this video I have seen through this meter and, and this meter may not be any more accurate than that temp probe but it's a point of reference I've seen this plate draw a peak of just over a hundred watts momentarily when starting with a cold plate and uh, just a normal cup of coffee so that's uh, much higher than the advertised 40 watt draw even um, it will it will use some serious power unlike other meters that I've used like while we're waiting for this one to cool a little bit I can show you set the temp probe to the side this is what I was using which is just a very simple one setting warmer the switch is halfway down the cord which is very inconvenient for running the cord on your desk because even if you might get the plate in a good spot you gotta reach somewhere awkward to get to this switch and overall the cord is very short on this one they give you a very generous length cord on this uh, 40 watt plate here it is double the cord length of my old one and I can show you this old one which it it was adequate it would mostly keep coffee warm if I turn this one on this one goes up to about 17 18 watts and it just hangs there and it doesn't have any regulation built into it it doesn't have multiple temperature settings you just get those 18 watts and there it sits uh, good or bad and that's how a lot of the other ones you see on the market are they don't always show or advertise the wattage but if you can find ones that do and if you can find something over 20 watts uh, it really makes a difference um, in my experience so maybe this is I mean this is still hot but if we plug this in again and we bump right up to the top setting see oh yep there's a hundred ninety eight just for a moment um, when it was cold cold earlier before I put this coffee on it held actually around the 80 watt mark for a good few moments or so before it started trickling down so when they say 40 watt they're actually I mean it, it calms down to about 40 watts uh, I would say but it has a peak draw 
much higher than that and higher than my old one that I'm replacing and then as you saw earlier in the video as it comes up to temp it has its own sensing ability to lower the watt draw down as needed or if we were to go on just the medium setting there it's already too hot for medium so it's turned off the warmer completely so there's a level of intelligence uh, going on with a temperature sensor obviously in this that this one does not have oh and I forgot to mention another negative thing about this one is it won't automatically shut itself off if I forget about it and walk away from it this one will just stay on which is kind of a scary proposition whereas this one will automatically turn itself off and I appreciate uh, that feature of it it's still too hot to even try to yeah so this this one unlike some of the other competition this one uses serious wattage to keep your beverage up to temperature but it's intelligent about it it's smart enough to shut itself off and to regulate